Welcome back to Modded PSPs and You, the one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded PlayStation Portable. Now, what's the biggest problem with the PSP? I'll give you a second to answer. That's right, the fact that in order to play on the thing, you have to lug around a bunch of mini discs. Which is why today we'll go over how to back up your PSP library and install the games onto your system's memory stick. So without any further ado, let's begin dumping your UMDs. The first step is to boot up your modded PSP. From there, you'll want to hold down the select button for a few seconds before releasing it. This will open up the VSH options menu. We'll want to navigate to the section for the USB device and press either left or right on the D-pad until you get to the UMD disk. At which point you can exit out of the VSH menu for the time being. Now grab the UMD disk you wish to copy and insert it into the PSP. Then connect the system to your computer using a mini USB cable and launch a USB connection from within the PSP settings. You should see the contents of the UMD drive show up as an ISO file on your computer. Simply copy over said file to your PC, which can take a fair bit of time depending on the size of the game. Once the ISO is finished copying over, right-click the file and rename it. You want to rename these files as everything copied from the UMD drive will be titled UMD 9660 by default. Once renamed, disconnect your PSP from your PC by exiting the USB connection on your console. The steps for backing up UMD movies is similar to the process for games. Just insert your UMD disk into the PSP, then navigate over to USB connection within the PSP settings, and again copy the UMD 9660 ISO file from the UMD drive to your computer. Remember to rename these files once copied to make identifying them a little easier. We won't be going over converting PS1 backups into PSP files within this video, as I've already covered it in a previous episode. I'll have a link to that video in the cards and in the description in case you're interested in learning how to do so. Anywho, now that you have ISO copies of the UMDs, let's move on to how to install them onto your PSP. Disconnect your PSP from your computer if you haven't already done so, then hold down select again to re-enter the VSH menu. From there, navigate down to the USB device setting and switch it back to the memory stick. Once set, exit the VSH menu and reconnect your PSP to your PC. Then establish another USB connection from within the PSP settings. One on your computer, we'll first need to create a folder called ISO on your PSP's memory stick if you don't already have one. Now, enter the ISO folder. This is where you'll want to place any game ISO backups in order to play them on your system. With that being said, we'll copy over our game backup from earlier to this directory. As for our UMD Movie ISOs, we'll need to create a video directory within the ISO folder for us to store those backups into. Make sure that the appropriate backup type goes into the correct folder, otherwise you won't be able to load them on your system. When it comes to installing PS1 or standard eBoot files onto your console, depending on the location you're sourcing them from, they may come in a folder under the game's title. These will not work on the PSP. You'll have to take the folder normally found inside these that starts with SLU and put that onto your PSP instead. These files will go into the games folder found within the PSP directory on your system's memory stick. Once all your backups are loaded onto your console, go ahead and exit the USB connection on your PSP. If you navigate to the Game tab on the XMB, you should find your backups under the Memory Stick storage. However, you'll notice that your movie backups aren't under the Memory Stick when in the video section. You'll have to load movie ISO backups through the VSH menu. Within the VSH, you'll see an option for ISO Video Mount. You use the D-pad to locate the desired backup and press cross to launch it, at which point your PSP will soft restart. Once it's back up, you should now see the movie under the video section of the XMB. If you wish to unmount or change movies, just reopen the VSH and select None, or choose another backup, and press Cross. Now that just about wraps up everything you need to know for how to backup, install, and play your PSP library from the console's memory stick. Now, if you enjoyed, consider dropping a like and making that subscribe button glow so that you don't miss any future content. And if you have anything that you'd like to see covered on a future episode, be sure to leave it in the comments or pitch it at our official Discord server. Link down below in case you're interested in stopping by. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.